Hi everyone, this is uh, Russ Grease with uh, RWG Research working on the EPG system, Stanley Myers. Right now what I'm doing is winding the primary. A um, couple sets, I'm going to try different things but I just wanted to give you a quick update, so here we go. Uh, the EPG system and uh, processor, gas processor hanging out over there with the Bendini wheel. Pretty interesting. Alright, so here's what I got. <coughs> I got recycled wire out of TV monitors, actually the uh, computer monitors, and uh, I've been um, taking these apart one at a time, awesome stuff. And then um, what I've got here is a device that I created to do nothing more than um, straighten recycled magnet wire. Uh, what happens is it goes through here through these two guides and it coils around these pulleys around this which straightens the wire and um, go lay down Snickers which uh, straightens the wire and goes through here and then uh, comes back out the other side all nice and straight it's kinda hard to see but that's really nice and straight and this is not so much alright and then uh, I've got my primary here and what I've done is I've taken CDs and uh, cut them down on my homemade uh, bit. It's nothing more than a, uh, a razor blade. And uh, as you can see, I did a few of these to get this right. <laughs> but uh, here's the finished ones I cut off. So I peeled off the backing. Um, if you use CDs that are um, like burnable CDs, that wasn't one like this one you can actually put tape on the back of here and pull the backing right off um, so that is a good thing because I don't want the backing on there because it's made out of some weird something or another that I don't want but anyway so uh, that's what I did to uh, make these divider plates and I've got this on my my big core and then I've got uh, this here little bearing I made a little bushing to sit in there and uh, I can basically hand wind this. That's what I've been doing. I've been hand winding these coils. Um, I'm going to do the rest of them here. There's five of them on this. Uh, and this with was with a steel core. And then I'll be doing the same thing with the same amount of wire on these five spools here. These are uh, tape. Uh, what's it called? Pipe thread tape. Uh, neoprene tape or whatever it is. I cannot think today. But anyway, I'm going to use those spools and uh, wrap the same amount of wire on there and I can get a compar comparison between air core and solid core and then I've also got a pipe that fits between here and the other pipe it's really really thin here's another little coil I showed you guys earlier just uh, with an iron core just a piece of pipe and uh, that's gonna just be for pulsing single pulse tests uh, just different variations of coils I've got put together here but I thought I'd give you an update and uh, there's a lot of extra room here on these dividers and uh, the main reason for that is I didn't know how much wire I was going to put on here I even may put heavier gauge wire on top of this um, for different uh, different effects so anyway just a quick little update this device is pretty cool though just a bunch of guide rulers and uh, that's it so I wanted to say thank you to everybody. Um, I will have a website up really soon. Thank you to Matt for donating this whole entire website. I've been helping him uh, set up my portion of it so he can set up the forms and stuff. We can go over there and discuss all this stuff. Um, i release a video here hopefully in the next week. Um, depends on how much time he has and I have to work on it. Lately I've been working on the website and not doing this. And also if you guys watched my other last video, part uh, 3, Stan Myers video, um, Basically, at the very end, I told you I was having a baby boy. Everything went A-OK. -okay. Everybody's safe and home. And uh, little Dexter is his name. He's uh, here in the world. So I got to bring him to the lab and show him some pretty cool stuff. Uh, that's actually my second child. So, whew, I'm a busy boy. Well, I guess I'm a man now. <laughs> anyway, seriously, guys. Uh, I just want to say thank you. Again, if you would uh, also like to donate, donate to my research, you can do that. I'll have a link in the description. Um, if you don't have any sort of funding who cares come over and donate your time uh, as soon as I get the forms up donate your time and um, a lot of people are doing that and donating their thoughts um, it's gonna take more than just me to get this done so again I'll leave it at that
It's about us. See you guys.